Number eight. What is the conjugate acid of each of the following, and what is the conjugate base of each? And then we have letter G. So in this case, we have to find out the conjugate acid and the conjugate base of H4N2. Now, if you could find a conjugate acid and a conjugate base of a single molecule like this one, that means in certain situations, H4N2 can act as an acid, but it could also act as a base. If it acts as an acid, we will be able to find the conjugate base. And if it acts as a base in certain situations, we could find the conjugate acid. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put a line here, and we're going to work side by side. So first, let's just pretend that H4N2 was acting as an acid in a certain solution. What's going to happen? we got to find the conjugate base. And the word conjugate just kind of means other. It's basically the pair of the acid. Now remember, a base is always one less hydrogen than its acid. So all you got to do is just find where the hydrogen is and knock it down one. In this case, here's the hydrogen. You got four of them. So if you're trying to find the conjugate base, all I'm going to drop down is from a four, it goes down to a three. The two nitrogens come along for the ride. And now you have to correct the charge. If you are getting rid of a hydrogen, you subtract one. So, always look at the original charge. There was none here, right? I don't see a charge here. That means that it was a zero charge. So you say, okay, it was a zero, but since I removed a hydrogen, I have to subtract one. And zero minus one is just a negative one, or you could put just a negative here. And this would be your conjugate base. So halfway done. Now we just have to do the opposite. Now let's pretend that H4N2 was acting as a base. What would the conjugate acid be? Well, an acid is always one more hydrogen than its base counterpart. So in this case, you'll gain one hydrogen. You'll bump it up. So just like before, there was four hydrogen. But now I'm going to say that there's five hydrogen because we're finding the acid. The two nitrogens come along for the ride, and now we just have to account for the charge. Since you gained a hydrogen, you're going to plus one to the overall charge. So just like before, there was nothing here that's zero. So zero plus one. Zero plus one is just a plus one, or I could just say a plus. And this would be the conjugate acid, H5N2. Conjugate acid. And there you go. Hopefully this helped. Thank you so much for viewing the video. And if you guys are also in physics and math, we also have videos for those on the channel as well. So go check the channel out. We got much, we got much bigger plans for the channel in the future. So much more subjects. So hopefully you guys will enjoy. All right. I will talk to you later. Have an awesome day. Bye-bye.